I'm going to show you how to add the printer to your desktop and how to set it for private. Every print job should be set for private with a code so it will be waiting for you at the printer. So you can send several print jobs and they'll all be waiting in the private print log at the copier. So you'll be able to just go scan at your key code and get to it. So here I'm selecting add a printer. I'm going to select network printer. As you can see, it'll populate the list of printers that I have not selected. So these are the ones that are available on campus that I have not already selected. So I'm going to add the printer. It'll appear the name right there. It'll ask if I want to make this as my default printer, and I'm not going to do that on this one. So now it's set up. I can go over to it, and I can right-click my mouse and choose Printing Preferences. So I'm going to set it for Private Print. That's the same as the old lock print on our Ricos. I'm going to double click those, click on those double dots, and I can now enter a number. Even though I do not have to enter that on the copier, it'll be there waiting for me for my key code to just scan and then show me all the print jobs under the print queue. Here I'm setting these are default settings. I could do it to both sides or single sided. Stapling, hole punches, these would default to these on this printer whenever I send a print job. Then apply and then OK. Now I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and I'm going to go as if I'm going to go print it. So I just go to File and then I choose to print. And the default settings for the printers are already set from the desktop. So I don't have to change anything, but I'm going to ch check printing preferences just in case. And as you'll be able to see, it's still set for private print and then I can change it to different drawers if I like to print from but I'm just going to leave it alone and let it go to that big print drawer hit OK and then when I select the print button it's going to send it to the printer